Hello everyone, in this video we will discuss containment in C++. Now if I have many classes in my application, then there are different types of relations between the classes. So one type of relation that we have already seen, which is called as is a kind of relation and it is implemented using inheritance. Now there is one more type of relationship. It is called as has a kind of relation and it is implemented using containment. Now what is has a type of relationship? Suppose if I have car class and if I have engine class, then I, I say that car has an engine. So this is has a type of relationship. So car is a class which is container class and it is, it is having engine object inside that. So car is containing engine. So it is called as containment. And in this case, car is referred as container class object and engine is referred as content class object. Now containment has two types under that one is called as composition and another one is called as aggregation. The difference between the composition and aggregation is binding between the container class object and content class object. In case of composition, the binding between container class object and content class object is tight binding. That means if I destroy the container class object, content class object has to be destroyed. So suppose again, if I take if I take the example of car and engine, if I destroy the car, then engine has to be destroyed. But in case of aggregation, the content class object can persist beyond the lifetime of container class object. So you can take the example of employees and organizations as an example of aggregation. Suppose, suppose if I say organization is one class and employees another class, then I say that organization has employees. But suppose if, if the organization is not there, it, it is no more there, then employee will move to some another organizations. So they will persist beyond the lifetime of organization. So that thing is implemented using aggregation. So let's go for the implementation of containment or rather composition. I will implement two classes here. One is employee class and another one is date class. So what I will do. I am implementing composition so I will I will I will write date class first and then I will take the object of date class inside the employee class. So let me create a new file say file new and I save that with the name employee.cpp. Now here First, let me include IO stream, then using namespace std. So let's implement a date class first. So class date is there. Now suppose date class has data members for day, month and year. So I take three data members. One is DD, then MM and YY. And I write three functions in the date class default constructor. First one is default constructor. Then I write parameterized constructor. Parameterized constructor takes three integers for day, month and year. And I write say display function. So let me complete the definitions first and then I will take the object of this date class inside employee class. So in the employee class, I will basically take data members, employee ID, name and date of birth or maybe date of joining. So that a date of birth or date of joining of employee will be object of this date class. So we can say that employee has a date of birth. Something like that. So let me first complete the definitions of date class. So date class default constructor date scope solution date and here I will initialize dd mm and yy then i will write parameterized constructor definition so here int d int m int y in the definition i will assign d to dd m to mm and y to yy and then I will write display function definition which will display the date in proper format. So void is a return type, class name is date, scope solution, display. See out 
dt then slash mm slash yy and change the line so this will be the date class so let me check whether date class is working correctly so let me create the object of date class in main so date d1 1 2 2000 and d1 dot display so g++ name of the file is employee.cpp here the d is lower case in display okay now when i run a dot out it is showing me the date okay so date class is working now let me implement the class employee so here here i am writing in the single file actually you are supposed to write in different files i, I mean uh, for date class there will be two files date.h date.cpp for employee class there will be files like employee.h employee.cpp and main function will be in some different file but as of now for understanding purpose i am writing the whole code into the single file so i will write class employee here in the employee class i take int emp id then i take name as a data member which is character array and i take dob which is date of birth of employee now in the employee class also i will write the same three functions first i will write the default constructor then i will write the parameterized constructor parameterized constructor takes first integer for id then char star for name then three integers for date of birth and then void display so now how to write the definitions of the functions of class employee so let me first write default constructor definition so employee scope solution employee and here i will initialize emp id name and date of birth so how to in initialize emp id i will say emp id equals to some default value say 1 then for initializing name i will copy some name say strcpy i have to use I will copy some default main default name into name variable so strcpy name comma say abc now strcpy is inside string dot h which is from c so i will include c string here now what about initializing the date of birth do i need to initialize the date of birth here now let me show you one thing suppose i create the object of employee in a default way i say that employee e1 so i have created the object of employee class using default constructor now let me let me try to debug the code let me compile first or rather compile with hyphen g option since i i need to debug the code and then i will say gdb dot slash a dot out so first step is put the breakpoint b space main then r for run and now the program is running so here it is at the first line employee e1 where i have declared the object now if i press s it is going inside the default constructor of employee that is okay now before executing this employee's default constructor again if i press s it is going inside the default constructor of date class if you see so here it is going inside the default constructor of date class and then it is executing that constructor and then it is coming back into the employee constructor again and then it is executing the employee constructor that means in case of containment in case of containment if i create the object of container class 
then contained class default constructors are automatically called here there is only one contained class which is date class so contained class default constructor is automatically called so that is by default that is the behavior of c++ in case of containment if you create the object of container class object then contained class constructors will automatically get called so I, I need not to do anything here in the default constructor regarding dob initialization now let's go for the parameterized constructor of employee class i will say employee scope solution employee and it will take parameters like it will take id first int id then char star nm then int d int m int y and it will initialize emp id equals to id emp id with id then it will copy the name str cpy i have to copy the name nm comma nm and then i need to initialize date of birth with dmy values so how to do that so here also let's not initialize the date and let me check the output suppose i write display function as well return type for display is void employee scope solution and name of the function is display in the display function i will display emp id and name directly using c out c out emp id then c out a name and to display the date of birth i need to call the display function of date class so i have the object which is dob object for date class using that object i will call the display function of date class which will display the date of birth now let me create the object using parameterized constructor inside main and i will display it using even dot display so parameters will be say one or other say 10 then I pass my name say Tushar then I pass date of birth 24,8,1,9,8,4 and now let me check the output remove hyphen g so it is getting compiled and if you see the output it will output employee id is correct 10 name is also correct Tushar but date of birth is not correct the value which I have passed is not getting displayed instead of that it is showing the value which is default value which is assigned into the default constructor of date class 112000 so here what is happening if you debug this code here it will call the parameterized constructor now from the parameterized constructor of employee class it will jump to the default constructor of date class it will not call the parameterized constructor of date class it will call the default constructor you can you can see that into the debugging suppose i debug here now b space main r for run it is onto the first line then i press s so it is going inside the parameterized constructor of employee again i press s then you will see that it is not going into the parameterized constructor of date class which is expected but it is going inside the default constructor of date class so I don't want default constructor to be called instead of that I want parameterized constructor to get called for date class so for that I need to do something so first thing is first way is something like this into the employees parameterized constructor here I will write dob equals to new date and I will pass d comma m comma y only date not new date so now it is showing me the correct output so here what is happening here first i have created a temporary object and then i have assigned that to the dob variable so here on to the right hand side i have created temporary object from dmy and i have assigned it to the date of birth now let me debug the code let 
b space main r for run so from the first line in main function declaration of employee object it is calling the parameterized constructor of employee now you will see that it is calling first it is calling the default constructor again from the parameterized constructor of employee still the parameterized constructor of date is not called it is calling the default constructor of date after that it is executed and then on to this line it is calling the parameterized constructor of date class so anyways first it is calling the default constructor then on to this statement where i have written dob equals to date inside bracket dmy it is calling the parameterized constructor so that previous call to the default constructor of date class is unnecessary so in this way you can run the program you will get the output if you see you are getting the output so here if i run this i am getting the output which is correct but there is one unnecessary call to the default constructor of date class so i i don't want that unnecessary call so another option is instead of writing this syntax i will write it here i will give colon here then i will say dob and into the parenthesis i will pass t comma m comma y so this is the other syntax if i compile it now and run it still i am getting the output and if you debug b space main r for run now if you debug you will see that from the parameterized constructor of employee it is directly calling the parameterized constructor of date class so this thing it's called as member list initialization this thing that i have written it is called as member list initialization member list initialization so this is how you will implement the contentment or composition in c++ so implementation of composition is easy only syntax you need to remember is for this member list initialization and you should know how to call the functions of content classes inside the container classes using the object of content class so thanks for watching the video please like the video and do subscribe to my channel i will see you again in the next video